good start. <laughs> if I was to describe myself in one sentence, I gotta say outrageously energetic. That's about it. Outrageously energetic. I am someone who loves Jesus and loves living life just for Him in everything I do. I love caring for people. I love looking out for people who are sort of on the outside. So kind of a mothering sort of personality is me, I think. I would describe myself as fun, bubbly, sort of like mothering, caring, gentle natured. Yeah. I guess I can't describe myself because I think I'm ever growing and ever changing and evolving into something more than I am right now. I am an empathetic, very sassy, um, very bold and very secure in who I am person now. I would say I'm probably pretty quiet when you first meet me but after a while I'll probably get more outgoing and I love Jesus and helping people. Yeah. I'm a pretty creative person and I love Jesus and people and helping and encouraging people and um, I'm grown to be outgoing and um, I love nature. I am a pretty adventurous person, very compassionate, um, yeah, and have a heart for people. I would say that I'm a pretty deep thinker, kind of fun, and pretty adventurous. I would say I'm a all-around Jesus lover, wanting to spread the word more. I am a passionate Jesus lover, and I just love to go where God leads. I'm someone who always loves the challenge, so I like putting myself out there in new situations, but I think struggle with confidence. I love Jesus, I love life, and I really love pushing myself out of my comfort zone. Um, I'm pretty crazy once you actually get to know me. Yeah. I wanted to do a DTS to learn how to tell people about Jesus and just have fun with people around you. I want to grow in all areas possible. I want to become closer with God and more confident in who I am and create cool friendships. I have grown so much over this DTS. I think every week I just learn something new. Something I didn't expect on the DTS was that I would really enjoy the outreach phase. <laughs> outreach was a real testimony of just God's goodness and I had so much fun and it was probably one of my most favorite times of the whole DTS. I've learnt how to listen better. I've learnt how to speak better. I've learnt uh, a lot about relationships and what it is to be in relationship with each other. One unexpected thing about DTS has been learning how to write a sermon and also just speaking in front of a mic and sharing my testimony. I always kind of thought my entire life that gentleness was a weakness but um, yeah God actually taught me all throughout DTS that there is so much beauty and so much power in having a gentle spirit. I think I've grown in trust. I think God has taken me into places where I've had to completely trust and rely on Him. There's been so many ways that I've grown over the DTS, um, but I think one of them is definitely my confidence. Uh, for example, I didn't want to do this video at the start of the DTS because I was too scared. I was like scared that I wouldn't have the right answers or wouldn't know what to say, but now I just don't care because I don't have to always have the right answers. I've kind of worked out the line between relating to others but also knowing who I am and the important things like that make me me basically. My purpose in life has really shifted. I can reach a new level of deepness and maturity in Jesus but we will never reach a place of perfection but that's why we need Jesus so much. One unexpected thing that God has taught me is probably just how to how to live with females. I've never had sisters in my life, and I'll tell you what, that is uh, that is that is really a lesson to learn. That one. I have learnt to kind of just leave things in God's hands to just yeah hold my future with open hands and leave it to God. Well, I'm still a bit unsure about what's next for me in life. 
I would love to do more missions and ministry and just helping people to know more about God and just spreading his love and his word more. I know that for the rest of this year, God is leading me back home to Gympie. I think where God may be leading me next is a combination of teaching, counseling, ministry, and just serving people. I don't know exactly where God's leading me next, but I definitely feel called to more ministry work and mission work somewhere, and I'm really excited to see what happens. Something I would say to myself in six months time would be if you're still sitting around doing nothing Matty J, get off your butt and move. I want to say congratulations, you've made it so far and keep going, um, keep doing what God's calling you to do and keep being, um, keep being an inspiration to young people. You've probably learnt a lot and I just hope that you can go out into the world and use that. Good on you for doing this and stepping